what's up guys next we're going to talk about the deep attack out the gun bunch week uh i think this is one of the most slept on concepts in the game which is bringing uh basically what i'm talking about is bringing bringing uh something across the field from the other side of the field so the only thing you want to do put this guy on a streak route we want to try to get that corner as far as away from that post as possible y'all like are we hitting the post right when he crosses no you can if he's open man that's going to be a read if you're a man. Boom, that post right when he crosses. But if they're in zone, here's all you're going to do is streak uh, A. Uh, then you can put RB on an out. And then you can put your running back on a uh, hitch or a curl. You're going to motion this guy over. And like I said, all you're going to do is wait for him. And y'all see how he just comes straight across that field. Uh, that's duly the read, but you uh, that's the read you want. Because uh, like I told y'all, when you flood someone, you want to have a... You wanna have a Deep route, which is our fade. You want to have a flat route, which is our uh, out right here. And then you just want to have a, uh, you want to have that mid, mid route, which is X. But most people don't expect it to come across the field. Like I said, you don't have to slant A. I like leaving him on this out because a lot of people don't expect it. But like I said, y'all see how, y'all see how like he just torch in his zone coverage. One of my favorite plays to use out of this because most people like they won't expect that. And they won't expect you to wait that long. They will either be chasing a slant. And if all else fails, if they do cover everything, you can just come here and throw it to the slant or the hitch. The hitch or the slant uh, usually is going to be open. But like I said, I usually like to leave that guy on the end because a lot of people, uh, they're like, damn, oh, my God. Like, they, they, they just, the end, like, when the end develops, like, I think it's just one of the most slept on routes in the game because no one, like, everybody expecting a quick slant. They're expecting a drag, but... They see him running up that field. Like, a lot of people use it in the middle. And, like, when people start to use it this route, I'm going to show y'all what, what they tend to do. Like, I'm going to motion this guy out. They tend to come here. They try to use it this route. And, boom, they leave A open right there. And, nearly it's just you making a read, man. I freaking, I love it off. I love, I just love, like, I just love scheming. Because then, oh, my God, it's just beautiful. Because, literally, you have reads everywhere. Like, okay, boom, he took that away. Boom, they took the they took that thing away. Just going to throw it to the post. Like, that's why I say make sure you got a good route runner. Somebody who's decently, like, you don't want to have somebody like Brandon Cook there. You want somebody who can go up and get it. Like I said, uh, boom. And even if they do manage to take everything away, like, look at that. You got the tight end right open. It's just you making a read, man. So, and then against man coverage, oh, my God, same thing. Same thing. Like, they press him, whatever. Uh, you you want to hit that post right when he uh you want to hit that post right when he you want to hit that post. What am I saying? Right when he uh right when he cuts. You don't want to wait in man coverage. So boom, he comes off here. As soon as he get that cut, boom, you want to throw it. But oh my god, I was you supposed to leave a on the end in man coverage. Leave a on the end. Pit him here, or, or pit RB. Put your tight end on a drag in man coverage and pit and leave a on the end. And you can put your running back on a hitch. That's exactly what you want to do. Or you can block your running back. That's what I do most of the time. But boom, you wait for it. Oh, my God. I thought he was a man. Oh, my God. I forgot to change the man, bro. I'm tripping, y'all. It's late. I'm sorry. You're going to press the coverage. All right. So, we just – because we don't know if he's a man. But if you if you know for sure he's a man, you can always streak this guy. Or you can always put him on a drag or a streak. And then you can like motion fade or you can motion uh you can motion hike him into a slant. And then you can hit that or you can just boom wait for that to happen. Oh my god. Like it's really up to y'all. Uh, it's just like if y'all know about the the play in a Patriots playbook that a lot of people uses. Uh but like I said, uh usually I like to do that and then like a, either in man coverage, I like to leave A on his end or just put him on the out and just leave the running back blocking. So then like Everyone's not running into each other. When that route does open up, uh, boom, it just happens just like that. You can throw it and hit them. And like I said, just want to make sure you, this is why you want to have a good route runner there. But I mainly use this play against zone. Uh, I think y'all will really enjoy this play. This is a fun play to use because, like, dang, like when you gas somebody for that long, you just like die. Like, just when you dot somebody up like that, boom, boom, boom. Oh my God, that time you played that beautiful. Like I said, this is why you, this, this is why you want to be patient. And if someone's blitzing you heavy, you probably won't be able to get this off. Oh, my God. Why is the computer so good in practice mode, bro? This irritates me. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just cranky and stuff. Like I said, motion him out. And this is the reading zone. I'm sorry I like, taking away all y'all time. But, like, 
There you go. That's the read you want. Like, usually, like, you might not get that much time, but this is like, okay, someone's playing heavy zone or playing Tampa 2. They're cross manning people. No one's going to think to cross man this guy. So when you do motion him out, like, everyone's going to be watching for PA post. They're going to be watching for the corner strike. And no one's going to, like, expect that to be coming. And that's, like, what you're going to get. But I hope y'all enjoyed this. But until then, bruh.